Hello there, folks. My name is Alvin. So, back then, I made a little other prototype, which, to be honest, it's kind of like the cat jam and stuff. This time, it's better. So, this is a different auto loader. Of course, in that, yes, this kind of mechanic. I'm using the cl uh, clip or the magazine mechanic. I think it's a clip. Uh, I'm using a clip mechanic, so it holds less ammunition, which not a problem. So it only holds one, two, three, four, and five. Of course, I will do a t tutorial of this at the end of the video, maybe somewhere. Uh, so first things first. Also, I will not show how to make the barrel because this is my railgun barrel. Yes, the magnum configuration is like this. Yeah. So the barrel is what everyone. Also, because of the conveyor update, which I really like, you can make, you can use conveyor to push the ammunition into the barrel or the cannon bridge. But that's it. So, oh, sorry for the lag. That's not gonna be so lag. And and fire. Oh yeah, another thing is easy to get jam. There you go. Boom. That's the dummy round. So to reload, you must click Z, then click uh, bracket, right bracket. Isn't it? Yeah. Then click one. You can of course use other key like whatever key you want to say but oh yeah sorry you want there no I, on my I use P to activate the conveyor also B to put it back just in case if it's if that happens Yes, it can go in. Now, click right bracket again and ready to fire. If you're wondering what this thing is, when I click F and rotate, that means it's, it's like an indicator if it's armed and not armed because it's so hard to tell if the magnet is on or not on. I have this magnet here for no use, it's for decoration. Oh, yeah, it's gonna work. Push it back a bit, but eh. So when I click F, this happens. Yep, like it took a while for the ammunition to go out the barrel, which sometimes get stuck like this. Put in the R and then look. There we go. It fires normally and. Again, reload on there. Again, right, right, Z, right bracket, and then one, then V, and that thing is not open. Fantastic. V, here we go. with the motor too which to be honest still glitchy there we go and fire there yeah, now that's a clean fire okay that's I think that's almost all around that round is like a rope one so oh 
recommend putting another indicator for the compare. So, here's how you build the uh, auto loader and the cannon bridge. Yep, the cannon bridge, the cannon bridge is very special unit. Very special unit configuration like this. Now, if you're wondering why I put conveyor here, it's to push the ammunition a bit to the front. Not set it to P and B, I set it to F by default, F and R. The length of the conveyor is depend on your ammunition line. If it's three blocks, that means you can put three minimum of three in this. Not sure. Also, this thing will not stick to like solid blocks because there's no connection point on the top of the conveyor. It's like bit. You can set it. You can place down a other one. I recommend using cutter because explosive blocks will set on impact. And that was okay. Although using explosive block was an upgrade, it was a great idea. There's no sensor to if you set it on impact. Let me just when it on the barrel, it will explode. So, recommend not using an explosive block, except if you arm on keys, then set it to whatever number you want, and that thing was whatever, key you want, and that piston, that sounds like a good idea, but, eh, I'm not hard to do. Really, really wish there's a, an, a logic gate, like OR gate, AND gate, XOR gate, whatever you call it. Inside the vehicle. Just imagine that. Right now, just stick with normal armor piercing. But I will not put armor there. So, yeah, this is the cannon bridge. Another thing is that the side wall has to be. Oh, wait, this magnet. Yeah. So. This is the cannon bridge. Then you can make your own barrel here, yeah, like whatever, like this, 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 whatever you want. So then that's the cannon bridge. Now, the main part is the auto loader, which, to be honest, is not that complicated actually. Yes, three piston. Now the length of the auto auto loader is. Depend on your ammunition again, but this time a bit longer. Like maybe if it's a three, a three block ammunition like this, that means you need one, two, five on there. You add two. So like for me, I'm using a three block ammunition. So one, two, three like this. But then add another two like this. If you're using a six block ammunition, just do this. And then add another two to the front. Easy as that. Right now I'm gonna stick with three block ammunition. Hang on, let me just. So, after that, if you're wondering why there's this block here, that's a 1 by 0 0.9 block. So the cylinder right here doesn't stick. And I'm using a wing piece at the side, the, the auto loader side, because if you're using a normal half, half block or normal block, 
the ammunition will get jammed and stuck. So I'm not going to do that. So do something like this. Of course, at at, the, at each end, like if using M6 center like that. Okay. Then what you wanna do is because I'm using a three block, I mean I will use this. If you're using six, let me give you this, like this. Right now I'm using three block. And then what you want to do is like this. Put half block like that. Now just add something like this. Now if you're wondering why I, now I'm not, I'm gonna put half wedge like this. Why? Oh, it's because when when this thing when the ammunition is dropped here, it will not be in the center. So if I were to put a half wedge right here, it will make it a bit cent. It will make it center and it will flush into the barrel. Or the cannon bridge. Now. That's the first part of the autoloader. Yes, we need to make yeah. So, if you make sure you are right, place down the normal ammunition, the dummy ammunition or whatever. Don't forget to put a anchor block. Right here. And then this is whatever set it to max. Now, you may ah oh, shoot. Oh, hang on, technical difficulties. Hang on, let me guess. Rebuild everything. Oops, I'm not supposed to do that actually. Yeah, it's kind of like a problem right now, so don't mind me. Just need to rebuild everything. If you're wondering why I put this compare facing that way, the backward, like this, uh, going backward because the uh, the forward and backward mechanic kind of broken. Like if you hold R, it won't. Let me show you. So, here, let me. So, if you look at this, F is backward. That may go to the go there, right? And then R is forward, that many go there. But. Play me if I'm wrong, okay? If I'm wrong, okay? I saw I that on me, okay? Whatever, that's another. Don't blame me if I'm wrong, okay? So, I wait, 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 okay. Let me just a little bit more. Also, if you want to play my core game. I will put the link in the description below, so you can play it if you want. If you want but eh. I don't know, I'm just gonna this way. Why is it? why there is lag. Oh, of course, I'm about to build a aircraft carrier. Okay. block for this like that that uh, maybe oops maybe 
that actually yeah, that goes perfectly okay, whatever. so this is the first part of the autoloader I'm gonna use F and R for this set the speed of the conveyor to 60 and set it to toggle and just do this so, now you have the first part of you of your autoloader just put a dummy around to test if you are right now if I hold F this should yeah do that but if I hold I I mean R I should do that which you may which if you if that if that if that happened that means you're doing it right now place something like this then wedge piece like this Place a 1.9 block again, 0 0.09 block here, like that. Of course, you can set the material into glass if you want to see the, if it's loaded or not. Can you do that? Like that. Hmm. Now, uh, let me just for that. Because I'm using the dummy round, there's no need for the 0.9 block like, like this for the cut for the cutter block. Do not stick to your clip. Yeah, this is the blueprint. So now 0.9 block like this. 0. How long is you want it to be? Then put a normal block like this. Now, if you wondering why it's a little different, because the the auto loader on my main C file is kind of jam on the clip. Okay. I'll fetch you like this, and you can put a piston here. Set the piston, uh, yeah. Set the piston to whatever key you want, like one or G, like that. You can of course set to whatever key you want to this. Like this is going to be F and R. Like now I'm gonna use one. Do not set it to toggle. Just set the distance to four and keep the max force at 500. Like that. Now, what you want to do is this a 0.9 block like this and like this. I don't want the ammunition to go out and kaboom. And then put another one like this. Before you cover it, place your ammunition. I think I'm using dummy ammunition. Now use suspension and set the free line to 10. Set the stiffness to 5, damping to 100. So, yeah, that copy and paste to that thing as well. 0 0.9 block like this. So it doesn't stick. Set the 0 0.9 block like this. Okay? Like there's a little gap on the bottom of it. After that, is your test. 
your autoloader, it, the ammunition should pop up like that. Zoom. 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 That. Easy as that. Now, there's a little problem. The ammunition sometimes go to the top and escape. So, what you want to do with that is just place down some blocks like this. Now, you are done with your auto loader. Just pass it. If you fire like that, that means it's fine. There's a little problem there. Probably use a full block here. Like this. Here's a full block. So it doesn't escape. I'll do a little bit of the other thing. Like R. And so you are done. That's it. Simple as that. Of course, you can just you know, modify it like this. Add a half wedge like so. We do Minecraft videos here. Or do something like that. Just to make it a bit more. Okay, that's essentially it. Thank you for watching. Of course, this piston will push it up to your barrel. Then you click whatever key you set the conveyor with to reload it. Essentially, this is the. Whatever. So this is the auto loader. Just a clip and the auto loader here. I mean auto loader, which you can compare. Probably, probably do a drum auto loader soon, like the M A M X thirteen auto loader. Which are the type of drum auto loader which I don't know how to make in plain case lazy, but I will try. Of course, there is no barrel on this thing, so you can make your own cannon barrel. Yeah, this is the this is Alvin from Alvin the Goldman. So don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friend. Also, probably you like the video. Don't forget to click that bell and yeah. Thanks for watching. Don't forget my signature E slash E wave. Bye.